Well, I want to explain to you that the EU farming protests are really showing up British farmers, actually, because um, what they're doing is they're actually saying, we don't like these changes that are coming. And the changes that they're facing are nothing. They're nothing compared to what we've had over the last few decades, thanks to successive British governments giving too much power to supermarkets and then persuading the uh, British people that we have to do Brexit. And the people that are believing this, um, the farmers that are believing this, are farmers which seem to seem to have voted Brexit and also seem to be climate change deniers. Now look, you know, the, the European farmers are not actually asking for a Brexit. They're laughing at Britain for doing a Brexit. And they're laughing at us for not actually standing up and protesting and being completely and utterly shafted by this horrendous government. British farmers are infinitely worse off than any European farmer. And the Italian farmers are worth listening to. There's a really good article in the Times this week which points out that they're taking their protest to Rome because they're protesting what their government are doing. The Italian government are using populist messages to try and persuade people that they are working for the people. When in fact, just the same as the Brexit cabal we have here, they're working for the global corporations to run down food production in Europe and ensure more global control of the food system and imports coming into Europe, watering down the protections which have kept our brands valuable and also tasty and fantastic and they're about our identity and our history. Who wants to have mass-produced processed foods coming in and dominating our food system? So if you read the article in the Times yesterday about the Italian protests, it's clear that the farmers in Italy are on to Maloney's government. They recognise that the government is using populist messages around food sovereignty and also saying that the farmers are threatened by lab-grown meat, whereas the Italian farmers don't care about the lab-grown meat and think that people should be free to eat what they want. What they do say, the Italian farmers, is that the country, Italy, has sold its soul to speculators and big distributors who fix prices and conditions that are unsustainable for farmers. Also, they also say that they formed the Ministry of Food Sovereignty but we didn't notice any difference. And they also accuse the farmers' lobby group that's worked closely with the government of diverting EU agriculture funds to large farming companies, leaving small farms out of pocket. So the farm protests in Europe aren't all about what the European Union are trying to drive through. There is many other reasons why they're protesting. There's also many other reasons why they'll be successful. It is important to focus on what is going on in Britain because of Brexit, particularly for British agriculture and for our food, our food supply and our food security. So farming is going through such a difficult time, uh, you know, because of lots of different reasons. Brexit is, is the main reason. Climate change, with the weather being so unpredictable and extreme. And global events because of Russia and the Ukraine war. All of these three things are putting on huge pressure on, on farms right now. And food production in Britain is contracting. And at the same time, food production across the world is contracting. So it's very depressing that this government, this Conservative government, still doesn't see any, n any necessity in backing our farmers to produce more food. They're full of talk, but they don't walk the walk. Dreadful trade deals, which will see livestock production here shrink again because the cheaper food that comes in from India, Australia, New Zealand will undercut our farms here because they use different standards. Um, they use, uh, you know, they, they are more intensively farmed and they use chemicals and hormones that are banned here. 